Yo, what's up guys? So, it's Tuesday and as you can tell I'm not running, but I am out filming today. Um, my calf was a bit sore after the long run on Sunday, in fact I kind of walked the last couple of K in. Really thought I was going to end up pulling up with a decent injury, but it's Tuesday and the leg feels all but better pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty good, but... I'm not risking anything. I'm going to wait till later in the week, possibly Friday, to run. Uh, so I've come down here now to film the guys doing a technical downhill session. Got the drone, I got the camera, I got the GoPro. Hopefully, we're going to get some wicked footage. Yo, what's up guys? Um, welcome to the vlog. So, with the race fast approaching, it's now time for me to start making sure I've got all the gear I need. Um, this race that I've got coming up now in a few weeks has quite a decent uh, kit list, um, which I don't particularly mind because of the, the race itself. It's 50 miles, you know, it's over Brecon and through a lot of the countryside of South Wales that's not very popular so um, you know if you do find yourself in trouble there's a very good chance that the only person who's going to come across you is another runner in the race so um, it makes a lot of sense to have a good kit list for this so first things first the um, trail running bag salomon advanced skin 12 liter um, i've had one of these before and i absolutely loved it i had it for two and a half years so this is a brand new one uh, the reason getting a new one is because there were quite a few holes in the pockets. Mostly my fault from carrying cameras around and different things and the pockets were quite stretched and they eventually ripped. Um, I felt like for the race I'd much rather run with a new bag that didn't have you know holes in the pockets and things. So the last thing I want to be doing is losing stuff along the way. Right, so as far as kit list goes, it's quite a big kit list. Um, start with this. Um, so survival bivy bag uh, this is a new one I've just bought which is rolled up and quite small this was my previous one uh, apparently there's a weight difference of 25% so this is a quarter of the weight of this doesn't quite feel like it but it's certainly a lot neater and this will fit in the bag a lot better than this I don't really want to be carrying that around start right we've got waterproof jacket I've got my Salomon waterproof jacket and waterproof leggings we have a new Salomon mid-layer, 
I've also have to carry a base layer legs and top, a hat and gloves, a compass, first aid kit, a litre's worth of water, um, a head torch with a spare battery, an additional head torch in case that one fails, another light, this one is to go on the back of my bag's red light, 400 calories worth of food which I'm not allowed to eat, that needs to be present at the end of the race, it's for emergencies only. Uh, finally a waterproof bag which all my stuff needs to go in. I've brought a few things out to show you what else I'll be carrying, obviously my poles. Um, these are probably the biggest weight of anything in this kit list, but looking at the race, obviously the start is going up Penavan and across the beacons, I'll be using these most of the time. I can't see a time where I'm going to be putting these away. Um, looking at the course and the, the bits that I've run, uh, lots of hills. Um, if you're not going up, you're going down, there's not many flat bits. So um, these will be in use the majority of the time. And if I'm not using them, I might just hold them in the one hand. So hopefully they won't add too much weight to the actual bag itself. But So, bag, actually, to be honest though, that's not too bad at all. Uh, I was expecting it to be quite a bit heavier, and to be honest, this bag feels really comfy. Now it looks quite big on the back, quite bulky, but I don't think it's a massive amount of weight because most of it's base layers and waterproof jackets and things. So, that's pretty good. Right, I'm going to get my running gear on, I think I'm going to go test this out. guys so bag tested and to be honest like I said felt really good it actually felt lighter than I thought really happy with that um, the only thing that needs to be added on the day is maybe a bit of additional food and stuff but I think there are so many spare pockets particularly at the front not gonna have too much of a problem with that um, so right so I'm going on holiday tomorrow and um, which means it might be a bit of a delay till you see this video and the next video um, but hopefully uh, I'll have a few then to upload in one big go. Once I get back from my holiday, the plan will be one more big run over Brecker, and I'm going to start planning that now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time.